Okay. Good evening, and welcome back to Underrealm. I, I originally wasn't going to bother streaming tonight, but I wanted to actually play the game proper a little bit today. <clears throat> All I did off stream, well, hello to you too. All I did off stream was clear out the loot in the Iron Head base, do some shopping trips, and uh, tidied up the inventory a bit. Uh, also, I'm keeping these motion tracking goggles as a alternative for certain things. Other than that. Gonna get back to the uh, the exploration part of the game. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well tonight. did that actually. Whoops. <clears throat> that sounds about right for you. <clears throat> Again? So there is one small issue with uh, doing those shopping trips. Uh, all that time does count on the respawn timer, so uh, every time I walk through these paths, I'm going to have to deal with the rat hounds again. <clears throat> so how's Warhammer treating you? Just wait right here. Okay, well, <clears throat> you knew what you were signing up for, at least, so hopefully you're having fun with that. We are getting to the point that I'm going to have to seriously consider uh, branching out towards some of those hubs for growth and for uh, places to go. But there's still a fair bit more cavern <clears throat> dwelling we can do. Okay. 
one is completely out of commission. That is off-putting. I don't remember there being benches, so just seeing that there's just oddly menacing. Sona has only two functional buttons remaining. The others have been torn out. Red Rat Hound. Yellow Wrench. Compartment. Oh, nice. The quality on that, though. Oh, wait, never mind. I was thinking of uh, the weapon attachment. Security camera. Hmm. Okay, this kind of just goes into Core City, so let's try this one. <clears throat> and we'll take the other route if we can, and uh, drop stuff off at Core City. Yeah, like, it, it's completely normal for there to be benches, but I just don't remember there being benches. Egg. Don them. Expose them. Leave them. Rip them. Not quite enough to one turn, but boy, it's pretty good. <laughs> Ironheads that didn't get the memo.
cannot. Unfortunate. I guess I'll go ahead and use that anyway. Not that it mattered. Really getting those XCOM vibes again. train schedule. This room is Gotta love the misses. Okay, I was kind of hoping to uh, still get a drop on him, but I guess I waited just too long.
really, my dude. Well, that kind of worked out. Goodbye. Was a pretty good turnout for what's a room that usually gives me a few deaths. Almost connected it to this one, which this might be the one that does that. Yep. Before I go to the next screen, let's go ahead and junk anything that's weighing us down right now. I can't wait to level my crafting skills up when I level up again. There's a dead man. Usually not a great sign. <clears throat> oh, that would be why then. like that. Hmm, more iron heads. Oh, but they ain't gonna last for long. Whoops. Oh well, that's that's honestly fine.
can't say that went really well, I'll consider. Definitely have to resolve carry capacity after this, though. Too high. Another old train schedule. <clears throat> I believe this connects to that room. Yep. We are definitely getting there. <clears throat> oh, and we've come up from below here. And this, of course, is right next to Rail Crossing. Apologies if the stray cats get picked up by the uh, mic. Wait, what's in what's in the way of the? Oh, I'm technically on a layer up. Okay. Boy, it sure would be a shame if somebody used a stunning move on you. Somebody's sneaking away.
Blend the flare. the other sneaky wannabe. Can't I? Whoop. Didn't want to move like that. but I'd say that went fine. So this, I don't think this was in the game before either. When the flayer might have been, but I don't think the glaive was. This ceremonial looking spear is just as dangerous as it is beautiful. The sharp blade is decorated with two golden plated rings that clink as the weapon is swung. Uh... Okay, so it's, it's, a, it's a spear with machete-esque rates built in as well. Oh. Huh. So I guess if you were going for a spear build, that might actually be really good because of the sweep combo, if Fend is any good. But anyway, we will take it. Oh! So, um... That's actually a, a fair surprise. Uh, you don't fight leper serpents in the base game, like, uh, you shouldn't even see things made with their leather in the base game. Uh, that's actually something from the expedition, so I'm a little surprised to see that at all. Again. What's spooky? In fact, it's a serpent? I 
Alright, let's crash anything that's a no-go. Uh, they're not really spooky. Uh, they're actually just a... I'd hesitate to say normal. All of the serpents are kind of annoying, but uh, you'll see when we get there. Uh, I've been neglecting to unload the guns, and I'm pretty sure the ammo just gets obliterated if you uh, recycle them while they're loaded. Let's see. Let's see about dumping the rest of the... Pretty sure we picked up something heavy. Oh yeah, in fact, there you go. Small shotgun pellet uh, molds there. Uh, capacity issues resolved. Dynamic destabilization. Really good psionic ability, just uh, never want to be relevant on this character. Incendiary grenade. Ooh, almost stepped on that. Look at that! Totally didn't know that was there. Ooh. Don't actually want to kill it just yet. I want to... Throw that. In there. And that's why we made sure to throw that in here.
watch it. No, actually, you know what? Flashbang. I can't reach him. Great. Dirty kick. <laughs> Zero shame. Interesting. Take those. <laughs> Pretty sure we already have that. Yep. All right. Did we take that was so heavy? I'll switch over to that for the moment. Bone is completely out of commission. Should be one screen in between here and the other spot, so we'll try and connect that. Hmm. Crawler remains. Wonder why there's that here. Hmm. Okay. So we've established this loop. So, uh, you know what? So, oh, hey, another emergency phone. Almost completely out of commission. I don't see myself clearing this room for reasons, but. Uh, we can still take a step in and uh, show it off. And that's why. Kind of hoping to put a trap in the doorway. That's not going to happen. this again.
is kind of a waste, but uh, that'll give sound. <laughs> sure enough. And look at that, even revealed his buddy. Take a step back. Not want to walk further in. Incapacitate. Hey. We're just gonna get real close. Top our health off. And actually wait until we have full AP to do anything else. Give him that good old dirty kick. Expose weakness. Cleave. Rippling strike. And go to town. think that was all of them, but I did want to at least get out of there real quick. Still, uh, air traps putting in that work. Ooh, ooh. Well, on the one hand, it's just a crawler and bumped into it, so that's at least manageable. Is it scummy? Perhaps. Does it work? Yes. and use that alternative save slot.
do not want to be over encumbered here. Can I even drop stuff while I'm in combat? can for the low cost of oh no AP hmm okay And it gets away. That's a shame. keeps getting lucky crits. And pop the good stuff. Hey. letting him get away. Well, by some strange twist, we might actually clear this room out. And, okay, it's thinking. Yep. How kind of him to stay nearby. It's a little bit wasteful, but considering it's a Death Stalker, I think uh, utilizing that's justifiable. And there's still more. Bye. Yep, that's done, so. No, oh no, oh no. 
Oh no. That's actually bad now. Oh, he thinks he's still hiding. Hmm. This is a pretty unfortunate uh, situation to find myself in. Well, might as well though, because I already know that's going to end in a death. Been to ah. Because I wholeheartedly expect the other one to be right here somewhere. No, that's actually surprising. Not at all surprised I'm missing 95% though. Be as close to good as we're getting with this situation. E. Oh, it resisted it. Oh, that's a shame. Can I bait it out even further? Hey. That might have... Nope. Every time I think I'm good. Still, uh, it's not too bad. I think there's only one left. Ooh. Oh, well, excuse me, that would be two then, unless they've already started 
Ah. Okay then. I promise I don't have an adrenaline addiction. I swear. And that didn't even connect. And it didn't even matter. Oh, well, if he's just going to be kind enough to come right next to me. Go ahead and wait it out. They've already tried to respawn that uh, we have cleared out this room. see almost no reason to have come here at all no rewards no uh no like really heavily looted corpse or anything but there's a conspicuous climb down option oh no 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 that would be innocent and cute That's your reward. <laughs> uh, no. The deep caverns are, uh, a little more of a journey to get to. Well... Kind of hard to uh, show off if it's just going to immediately do that. But... Yeah, I'm, I was kind of hoping to actually be able to at least get a chance to look at it, but uh, it's entirely possible it might be a little too soon.
He's doing a, a good job of being slippery at least. If it wasn't for the inability to immediately initiate combat uh, upon entering a new screen, it would actually be really easy to get him, because I think he's just right there at the entrance ready to jump on people. case the black crawler is the boss enemy equivalent of the crawlers uh it is a unique pain in the ass uh the one time i actually went out of my way to kill it i actually took the ability to drop a trap in combat and just moved two steps back in like one area where he couldn't run a loop and he went into the trap and then I murdered him on the next turn uh, naturally without something similar to that uh, it's really difficult to put him down regen lots of health resistance evasion and then of course the tried and true tactics of the crawler family has an oddity of its own or if it's just you know here here's the crawler oddities but i can at least attempt to verify if the cavern itself has any uh anything of note And if it doesn't, we won't worry about coming here for a right adrenaline doesn't. Okay. So I would need to use that before I even come down here. The fact that I'm literally going out of my way to waste grenades, though, to try and reveal him, and I can miss him with three, is uniquely impressive, in my opinion. But to get around his uh, ambush, we'll go ahead and use that before we step down. He misses. Crawler does not care. Black Crawler uh, exists to ooh, exists to ruin your day. That is all. Oh, there he is. Yes, yeah, so he has five hundred health. 
top of the usual suspects. Okay, and because he's trying to be sneaky... Okay, well, I guess that can happen too. Well... Guess we're going to try and uh, kill the Black Crawler now. Oh no, I'm actually going to kill it like this, aren't I? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, well you know what? It was totally worth it then. Tranquilizer Bolt Syringe. This ballistic syringe was part of what must have been a heavy-duty tranquilizer bolt. It was stuck in the side of the carapace where two thoracic segments meet, just barely having missed the actual gap and the softer bits within. Uh, for three oddity points. So, uh... I was just trying to show it off. But I'll, uh... I'll take a win. I will gladly take the win. So, uh, yeah, uh, that was a black crawler, and we're never coming to this area ever again. Why would I willingly come here again when I've already gotten all the loot that needs to be gotten from there? It is objectively one of the absolute worst rooms in the entire game. But, uh, hmm. I wasn't counting on, uh, on doing that tonight. And again, I wasn't counting on uh, killing Baylor last night either, and that somehow worked out. Alright, so we might as well connect this path to Core City and drop off our excess before we try doing anything. We will be going to that area as well, but not just yet. Mostly due to capacity. I didn't cut these. Oh, hold on. Well, this might be an incorrect path, but... Might as well grab it while we're here. No, no, I think this is just a transitionary alleyway with even more of your favorite, the Rat Hounds. Picking up basically nothing, put me over the the weight. Let's go ahead and drop that.
Oh yeah, this... Okay. That connects. Might as well. We can connect it later. got a pathway down here as well which probably will link up with the area near rail crossing Let's see who's here lunatics uh, you know what that'll probably do it almost almost Bubble gum. There we go. Uh -oh. hmm. This might be what I was thinking of. Which makes me wonder what the other pathway was. Fancy lighter, worth two points. We are actually really close to another level. One more and we'll, we'll be directly connected to the foundry pathway as well. I didn't notice that when I was here. Okay. I 
want to say, considering the proximity to Core City... Oh, well, Rat Hound. Train Mob, we are one point away. I don't believe it matters if I go top or bottom. Okay. So, I'll stop one step short. This is the current state of our map for the lower underrail. We've actually gotten a fair amount mapped out. Just need to cover the last few bits on some sides here and there. But, uh, very good progress. Apologies for the Raven. People really shouldn't be uh, doing it too loud, especially at this time of night, but, you know, it is what it is. How many guns is he taking? Only two. Actually, you know what? Oh, I don't have any more mechanical repair kits on me. Huh. Alright, well. By the way, we won't be using them in this run, but uh, there are multiple shotgun pellet molds you can use if you were to make your own ammo. 
Uh, but my favorite is the huge shotgun pellet mold. It makes uh, three... It, they're, they're literally tungsten shotgun shells with three pellet shots, otherwise called train shot, due to its uh, ridiculous power. Uh, that's basically your boss killer uh, shotgun shells. Uh, you won't ever typically use them because they're so annoying to make, but hey, there's something delightfully busted about them. I'm trying to grab as many extremely light items that have ex relatively high value as I can to offset uh, everything. You know what? I could still take three of these. But it was a pretty good wreck. Time to head right back in. Because I think I can finagle some 20 ish units of weight. City plans level. So, level fifteen. We're obviously going to pump melee up. We've already seen that we need a hundred and thirty five hacking for something, but let's see. want to start pumping dodge and evasion but they aren't as pressing due to the engagement methods I've been using
really want to keep pumping persuasion, but uh, maybe I'll get lucky and the RNG event will pop at some point, and I'll be able to sidestep a chunk of that. But I do need to pump up the crafting skills because they're a bit low for where we are. No feats until next level. But I do believe we're going for combo. But actually, you know what, this is a good chance. Yes, they did not tweak it. Uh, the experience needed is, in fact, capped at 30. I think I know where this is. Oh yeah, I know where this is. Uh, I was completely wrong. Uh, we will actually need to return soon because I'm about to have a lot more loot to deal with. Ooh. E. Oh, I neglected to use my inhaler. Uh, hmm. E. It's pretty good. Uh, that said, I have to walk over here.
Oh yeah, you're, we're just walking right into uh, one of their bigger bases. <laughs> Actually, there may be more on this one screen than there was in uh, their actual base in Depot B. This could be bad. The power of brain power, really, do. Okay, maybe... Maybe don't just run directly in. As, uh... Pleasant as that is. How did he get all the way over there? That's going to be a death. Now just completely eradicate my shields. Okay. That'll kill. throw and not immediately be right in the middle of a, a veritable shitstorm. doing it a that might be doable Wait, 
He ran into their own trap. Oh no. <laughs> So yeah, just uh, line of sight them. Oh, he's chunky. We have two turns to uh, ruin him, so... Is there seriously going to be nothing but, oh well, a refunded uh, adrenaline shot? Oh, okay, that would be where the loot, the good loot would be. Ooh. Don't mind me. Just, uh, ruining everything for you. Pretty sure the psionic is just doomed. We'll worry about him after not Gorski. Oh yeah, no. But no sense in not speeding it up, right? We can go ahead and take and repair or uh, recycle that. Stygian coins, a bloody mobile computer. It's a mobile computer covered in dry blood. The model name reads MBA 440S, but the brand itself is not familiar to you. Perhaps it was manufactured in North Underrail. Used to activate. I don't remember this either, so. This is the submachine gun technical manual. Let's take all that. All right, I'm intrigued. Maybe I missed it, or maybe it's new. This bloody device seems functional, despite having suffered some damage. The screen is scratched, but not cracked, and the left side of the mobile computer's body has been dented in such manner as to suggest that it was grazed by a passing bullet. You can, you can use the touch-sensitive screen to select one of the displayed options, pictures. You browse through several picture folders. One folder seems to contain a bunch of family photos depicting a burly bald man, a pretty blonde woman that is sadly missing her left arm, and four kids. 
two progressively taller boys, and two progressively dark-haired girls. Other folders mostly contain pictures of various weapons, tools, and other equipment, except for one which contains a few stunning photos of an impressive, yet to you, unknown city. Camera. Unfortunately, the camera appears to have been cracked badly. Using it would result in perplexing images of a shattered reality. Music. Scroll through a decent selection of songs, some familiar, others not. Out of the unfamiliar ones, the ones that instantly draw your attention are Southern Love by The Martyrs and Stillborn by Gronothrakt. You play them one after, a, one after the other. The first is a gentle, romantic, but still somewhat deep ballad, while the other one makes your ears bleed and forces you to turn it off after five seconds. Memos. Sort by oldest to newest. Okay. Then, Lynn's got a new shipment. Should check it out the next time I'm in a junkyard. Present for Yana. Buy that necklace for Yana next time you go to Dees. Dees Nuts. Boulevard Dodd. Meet Boulevard Dodd in Hardcore City Bar tomorrow after he has returned from Foundry. Alphabet. Met the pipe worker again at the Core City Metro Station. He pulled he pulled out a rancid pig intestine out of a bag and wanted to sell it to me. Also had a liver on a skewer. If we hadn't been at the station, I'd have Chad and Splinter zone him out. Note to self, have Alphabet killed next time he shows his face. Mmm. He's, uh, he's dancing on a thin line, ain't he? Faceless. Holy. We ran into Faceless on our trip back from Foundry. Chad opened fire, but they shot back and zoned both him and Splinter out. They got me and led me into a stuffy cave nearby, interrogated me about an item and its description. It's the same thing the Acid Hunters had shown me today. We met at the Foundry exit, and Cornell had had it kept in a metal box. Bluish gray gizmo with 10, 20 sides. Had some weird socket-like openings and even weirder symbols all over it. Told me he got it from some caravan. Wanted to sell it to me, but I told him I don't deal in that. Told him I mask around. Then we split. As we were returning to Core City, those pipe workers attacked us. I'm so happy now my camera had been broken when I met Cornell, because I sh would have surely taken a picture of that gizmo if the faceless found that. They let me go after two hours or so. I'm shaking as I type this. I'm on my way to Core City to warn Cornell and his crew to get rid of that thing. I hope they return from Foundry, because I'm not going back there. Something tells me he didn't reach uh, Core City, though. Previous memos. You scroll through literally thousands and thousands of memos. It is evident that the owner of this handheld keeps notes for even the most trivial things. Besides some more significant events and reminders, you doubt you'll find anything useful in this folder. Map. Unknown error, local map unavailable. Please reinsert the memory card and try again. Games. There's only one game to select, and it's solitaire. Playing it might drain the battery too much. South Underrail Station Feed. Connection error. Only local feeds are currently available. Supported by oldest to newest to all stations. The feed hacker who has been sending vulgar messages under the pseudonym Steve has been caught at an access point near Core City does not appear to be the same person as the hacker identified as Freak. More information to follow. To rail station. Several groups of heavily armed iron heads have been spotted moving from foundry toward rail crossing. Be on the lookout. To all stations. The south tunnel has finally been cleared and secured. Under rail express traffic has been restored in the south gate station area. Stations. 
bases have been spotted on multiple locations throughout South Underrail. They're using large tunneling machines. We've already... Yeah, that was the one that we got back at SGS. Uh, seems like that's it. From the way it's looking, though, that might be a quest item, so... That's neat, I guess. I like how those two specifically just didn't even catch wind of anything that was happening and almost all of their buddies are out here past the gate, dead. Okay, that's a pretty good one. Sounds promising. really promising. Go ahead and take and recycle that. Cycle 1500 quality knives. Recycle that because we could use more stuff for electric repair kits. Yeah, those are some relatively good uh, vests. Let's see. ahead and top off the gauntlet. Oh, well, we're trying to drink so that we can actually... Oh, we actually can already. Hey. 
Alright. This little loop is now done and found some interesting stuff, so we're going to wait. Quest? Oh, okay, so that's linked to Freak. But, uh, yeah, there we go. I guess we should head to... I guess we should just head to, uh... Well, we can head to Rail Crossing and dump off some of those guns first. See what's the time? Uh, I think we'll try and eke out one more hour. That's high enough quality to work with. Besides, it's his own fault for being willing to take four guns. because we just want to head right back to SGS to offload it all. should be killing uh, warthogs actually. I ought to look through all this and make sure there's not something I think I've capped that I actually haven't. Just so uh, we don't miss out on some easy XP.
not worry about trying to sell all that uh, off stream. Should probably put my balaclava back on. There's nothing that indicates the current functionality of this phone. You can make a call. Audic. Pre-recorded mesh speaks up. BioCore Metro services offer the most reliable and safest transportation services. To ensure that promise, in rare circumstances and or events that would tamper with the experience of our passengers, BIOS services provide additional solutions to expunge any and every problem. This is all of the tutorials for the... Okay. Can activate it from the side. Neat. So let's go ahead and take a ride to Core City, and then we'll explore from there. See if we can't draw some more connections on the map. Click now. Okay. 
Let's check this one out. Oh, I don't... Okay, this isn't what I thought it was. I don't think I can actually come in here right now. I believe that's tied to a quest. Quest either... grant you access... Or, as a result of you having done the quest, you end up on the other side. I don't remember which. Good old Beetle Alley. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. hoping it was going to go. up real quick. Okay, well that's two routes uh, resolved real quick. Uh, I should actually and resolve this as well. So this connects towards the rail crossing side, but I remember one of these having a route that I probably was originally correct about. Leave. This one. Uh, 
Now let's check right here real quick, if only because that space on the map bothers me. Oh wait, did I check this emergency phone? Put that out of commission. Can I hack that yet? No. I'll check here as well, but that might just be a void I can't get to on this side. If at all. Okay. Oh, okay, it was this one. Alright. We've been to both the left and the right. Yeah, there, there's no indicator right here that there would be an extra one. That's why I couldn't remember exactly where it was. But here we are. It's that time again. Straight into the shafts. about picking the locks.
Marked card deck. Another two oddity points. That's, that's odd as far as vent shafts are concerned. as much as we can do for restoring power. So, let's uh, do just that. Numerous cables connect to the base of the pillar and some manner of power cell is slotted at the top. Take the power cell on. As you pop the power cell out, the device short circuits. It doesn't seem like putting it back in will work. You can hear the sounds of warehouse gates lifting from back in the hallway. Let's hack. Well, let's look at the security first. And on the elevators, let's hack. Level 2 access. Security cameras turn off. Front gate open. Okay, they do still have that, all right. But I 
Turn the cameras off. Security cameras. Oh, okay. Might have accidentally turned them on. No. Data medium, take all the A little bit of teamwork, even if not intentional. Little train schedule, tenth, and therefore last. Workhouse inventory list, fourth, and also last. That's everything for this floor. Means it's time to go play with that elevator that was locked down. Kamikaze bots. Yes, more crawlers. Buddy, I hope you killed more than that one. Oh, 
Something's telling me that's a no. Seems I can find the traps. Driver manual. A few other bits and bobs. Toss a flare in, see if that. Draws in the inevitable. field psychokinesis sports almanac it's an old magazine from the future uh, too bad the last sport result listed here took place a couple hundred years ago Three oddity points. Alright. Theoretically, there should be nothing in here then. You would think that the plasma sentry and that flare would have drawn them in. Yeah, guess that was the only one then. I ain't complaining. that door. And there we go. Relatively simple. My leg got numb. Sitting cross legged. So
Alright, let's head down into the caverns. And I guess we already... Yep. Already poked over here. Hmm. So, I don't know about you, but, uh... This is just an oddly conspicuous area that's a cliff and then the gaping void that I can click on. The drop from this side isn't that bad. There's even a rocky ramp descending to another ledge. Wait. Wait. Really? Hold up. This is new, to me anyway. Ah, oh. okay. You know, I probably should have expected that. Let's just nip that one in the bud. Be stealth and wait them out. to grenade. Eee. Eee. Two for one special. Should be a third one. Oh, yeah, there's totally a third one. I didn't want to run away over there. Okay. No. Oh, there's totally more in here. It's too big. Wait, for what? Okay. How are we doing on capacity? Yeah, we're fine. I'll tell you what, I, I'm, uh, I'm good with finding stuff I hadn't found before, if that's what this is, and if it ain't, then hey, even more new stuff. Oh. Humming as he walks around, gazing up into a monolithic rock formation looming in the shadows, is a man clearly in a world of its own. His strangely joyful mannerisms last throughout the conversation as he talks to you in rhyme. 
The wanderers peek their heads in, but their thoughts are lacking in whim. Let me hear yours dance. Let me see them breathe. That's not a... That's not a rhyme. His words reach your thoughts in a unique way, somewhat shifting your attention towards the, no the northern rock cliff. Shrouded in doubt, you cannot really tell if there's something out there, or if it is all a figment of imagination. My mind senses something up on that hill. Point to the north. His presence draws us. Our thoughts start to rhyme. What lies ahead? Perfection. And this fallacious world behind. Sure does feel strange. Let the all-seeing one taste your needs. Let him heal your fears. He will tell you all, and more than you'll ever need. He raises his hand and points you to the middle of the encampment. With a slight nod, he invites you to go inside. It smells like a trap. Okay. I did not mean to go over there yet. Or quit moving. For Medicator. A gush of thick air ridden with dirt envelops you as two purple glowing eyes speaking above a charred mask of his stare in your general direction. Loud grunts in unison with his rattling teeth produce an unnerving sound, altogether forming immense pressure on you. This whirl of madness starts to escalate quickly, only to suddenly stop as the dirt scatters away from you and silence takes over. A smell I don't remember. Hmm. A new mind ready to be cleaned. I've got just the things to satisfy that precise need. What are you doing down here? No transformation can be achieved if there are any fallacies left to be seen. And even after that, I'll make sure the hooks are detached from Finity. The hooks? Finity? This world and everything about it is just a barrier. A blockade preventing us to reach our true form. There must be no strings attached to the current wants of this place in order to truly ascend. My purpose here is to make sure of that before I too am ready. Ready for what? To transform and start everything over in Transfinity. He readjusts his face mask. Let me see the goods. Huh. Well, that's uh, ridiculously expensive, but understandably good. Yo, uh, I need this hyper cerebrix for uh, some stuff for later. I we'll need two of them. He's only got the one. So, he might get another one later. That. What the eye sees, the body feels, and what the body feels, the tongue tastes. Oh, okay. Alright, synesthesia. And what the tongue tastes, the ear hears, and what is heard, is spoken, and the word is sent. And what the nose smells, is seen. And what the eye sees, the body feels, tastes, ears, sm okay, itchy tasty. 
He's, uh, mm, E, G. Can't actually tell with the heart. He shuts, okay. He shuts his one visible eye. His hands are convulsing, but remain close to his body. The pentagonal gem on his forehead begins moving, inching, as if seeking the perfect position, which apparently is not the center. Hmm. Pentagon rotates slightly. His hands relax before his eye opens with a new shade of clarity. Hmm. The lines, angles, forms. Their intersections with infinity, markers of transfinity. His eye darts around with curious regularity and precision. What the senses perceive, the mind can manipulate. Lines, angles, forms. Lines, angles, forms. He once again closes his eye and takes a few steady, serene breaths. It opens yet again. A singular stare falling upon you. Is... is it time? Oh gosh, I could just take his head, Jim. Uh, hmm. Time for what? Transfinity. Transfinity? He nods, but does not elaborate. Where can I get a row? There are some over there, and a locker by the beds, if you desire one. I'll go get one first. Hmm. So we'll come back to him in a minute. Scrap leads away from the cave. Okay. So let's see where this goes first. Doesn't go anywhere. Oh, I bet this is where whatever the event ends up leading into. Standard robes, reeks of smoke, burned clothes, 100% occult. Not that that's surprising. Alright, so I want the head gem. What is the head gem? You grab and pull the entire headband off his head. He wildly reaches for it, but you're faster. No! He stumbles backward, his eyes zigzagging in linear chaos before spiraling into a state of approximate focus. You, sour, colorless, shrill. He shivers as if freezing, all the while regaining his balance. Get that back to me. Okay, that's more or less what I expected, but... Oh! Ooh! 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 <laughs> okay. Perhaps engaging is not a great idea. But I did want to see what that item was. Synesthetic refocus, so he probably drops that. So if he's packing that much of a telekinetic punch, 500 health, 470. Oof. Yes, I'll see one. Then your transformation may begin. Looks at everyone in the room. Follow me, we'll gather the rest. Let's see what kind of terrible event follows this. Step up, all who wish to answer the call of Transfinity. Step up. 
Step up and abandon your imperfect form of affinity. Step up. Cast your mind and follow the lines intersecting, their sharp angles dissecting, erecting. Up there, invisible, but if you unify your senses, it's reachable. Oh. <laughs> Another transformation. Alright, you know what? We saved before this, so it's it's fine. So the thing is, uh, this I'm pretty sure this is new, but I think I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> he touchlessly readjusts his head, Jim, before refocusing on the force fields. It's your turn. Don't be afraid. The loud lights, they are merely the lines. The mind travels along to Transfinity. Step up. Let's, uh, see. Oh, you, you can actually just... Okay. Yup. <laughs> okay. That's about what I expected. Alright, so let's... Yes, follow. Wanna check the corpse and see... what the reaction is if I'm like, nope. Questions. We can't keep the platform up for long. What's going to happen to me? He smiles. You are going to transform. You came here to answer its call. The visions, the voices, its touch. Your new form awaits in Transfinity. Don't you realize you're killing yourselves? The mind moves on. The finite form stays. I'm not ready. Are you certain? If we stop now, it'll be long before we could do it again. Do not be afraid. Hmm. So, we're gonna fake going up. Burnt to a crisp. Well, that is a little unfortunate, because the uh, doctor is here, but I did get the one hypercerebric, so it's fine. Hmm. So what I want to do... Enter combat. Max out my AP. Flash these three. 
completely fail. Well, we already know how that's going to go. Did it auto? No, it did not. Hmm. Oof. Oh, he had a clear view of me. Okay. Well, this is an easy enough place to get back to. The unfortunate part is the uh, crawlers in the in between. But that's manageable. Also, about the point that I said we would get to, so. Let's head back. Didn't expect to find that though, so uh, really pleased with the amount of surprises this game still manages to give me. That's where I'm going to call it for now. I'll do another flopping trip uh, off stream and we'll probably pick it up at some point uh, this coming week. Uh, yeah, I did just save. We're getting to the point. Yes, yes, leaving forever. We're getting to the point that we're actually going to need to start doing things that aren't just exploring. But the good news is there's still the whole upper under rail. I think we're done with the lower passages. Could be wrong. The upper caves definitely have stuff we have not touched. And the lower caves, uh, there's still a whole bunch of things I haven't even done here. I mean, just look at all that space there uh, outside of Core City.
but we are gradually easing to the point in which block progression and hitting up stuff in these cities is coming to be a necessity. But uh, that will be for later. As always, thanks for coming by. Hope you enjoyed. Probably pick up sometime tomorrow with something. Maybe more of this, or maybe I'll do the other things first. Don't know. In any case, have a good evening. It's late where you are. Get some sleep. Take care. See you next time. Good night. The bed is not a meme. Bed is the thing you go to to get sleep. Is there anybody? Let's see if there's... I doubt it, because I know how popular this game is, but... Let me just pull up the thing and see if there's another dream for this. Oh. Oh, there actually is one. You want me to raid them or no? I figure you're probably just going to go to sleep, huh? Yeah, that's about what I figured. Alright, well, we won't bother tonight then. Uh, but good night. Thanks for coming, and take it easy.